off the road or you will be arrested for mischief. Palestine Until will be free. One person arrested during a pro-Palestine rally on UBC campus Wednesday. Police officers moved in on protesters who blocked an intersection on campus. We are here to blockade this intersection, um, to disrupt traffic and business as usual, as we cannot accept business as usual during a genocide. The activists gave the university president until 8 a.m. Wednesday to give in to their demands, including divesting from companies that have links to Israel and stopping any research projects with Israeli universities. Dozens gathered in the area of University Boulevard and Westbrook Mall around 7 a.m., impeding access to the main entrance into UBC. Some protesters say they're speaking on behalf of loved ones trapped in the war. Every day we wake up just waiting for this phone call to tell us they are still safe, they are still alive. RCMP confirmed the one arrest, saying the person did not comply with police direction to clear the intersection. Police were also threatening to arrest media. Israel kills UBC pays. I will not tolerate a genocide. According to the protest group, UBC President Benoit Antoine Bacon's recent comments at the Standing Committee on Justice and Human Rights in Ottawa on Monday show that the university is not acting in good faith. We are saying that if UBC genuinely wants to talk and address our demands in good faith, uh, then it must condemn the genocide. During the protest, a UBC graduation ceremony also on campus. Grads filing out with their caps and gowns as protesters wrapped up their rally with RCMP nearby. When we came out, they even congratulated us and then resumed with their protest. So, I mean, I understand why they're doing it. So, yeah, it doesn't bother me too much. There are some people saying, why make graduation political? The fact is that there are no universities left in Gaza. There are no graduations happening in Gaza. City News reached out to UBC. While there was no comment from the university president, they did acknowledge the traffic disruption and arrest and say all classes and events on campus are proceeding as scheduled unless stated otherwise. In Vancouver, Kate Walker, City News.